Welcome to episode 36 of the Woodwind Doubling Guide. And it's uh, road trip day because it's back to work at the Stratford Festival. It's uh, March 17th, 2017, and heading out for the first note rehearsal for Guys and Dolls. So I've got uh, the car all packed. So there's all the horns in the back of the car, baritone sax, bass clarinet to the bassoon, and a stand bag that has all three instrument stands plus a whole mess of other accessories and uh, stand desks and things like that. Okay, next step, drive to Stratford. Okay, finally in Stratford, quite possibly the longest drive in it's ever been for me. Two and a half hours, uh, who knew that uh, on uh, St. Patrick's Day it'd be such terrible traffic on a Friday afternoon. Anyways, I'm here, I got just enough time to spare to hustle my horns in there and get myself set up. Um, we'll see what else I manage to uh, film for your uh, viewing pleasure uh, once we're in there. All right, this is Rehearsal Hall 3 at the Stratford Festival, uh, named after the designer of the original stage. And it's a fairly cavernous space. If you look up here, very high ceiling, lots of room to the set, lots of room to rehearse, and there's full orchestra set up, percussion set up. You can see my station over there with the bassoon, uh, the bass, clarinet, and baritone. I'm just going to move over there and give you a closer look at that. Okay, woodwind section is set up. There's my station there. And of course, it's got my uh, trusty stand desk. And uh, the newly uh, revised version, 92 version, that we copied for us. And the uh, fourth book over there with clarinet, bass clarinet, and tenor. Double read book with oboe, English horn, tenor, and clarinet. And then the alto books in front clarinet, alto, and flute. Clarinet, flute, uh, alto, and piccolo. And then the uh, rest of the band, there's five brass across there, two keyboards four strings plus the double bass and rest of the rhythm section and we've got several note rehearsals in here with just the orchestra and then uh, we'll be doing the uh, six pro next week with the cast mirrors over there you see it's quite quite the space that's actually a window on the outside we're, we're actually below ground level and you know, get nice daylight uh, during those daylight times it's a nice big open space to rehearse in. As you can see here, I can actually heft everything in one go. Got the bassoon on my back. Got the stand bag here with the three stands plus all my uh, baritone accessories. Baritone in the SKB case and bass clarinet in its own case. And I can make one single trip in because I hate making two trips. Okay, so post rehearsal, I uh, got the horns out of the building, all loaded up back in the car. Time for the drive back to Brampton. Uh, hopefully it will only take the uh, normal one and a half hours rather than the uh, two and a half, almost two and a half hours that it took this afternoon. Uh, it was a successful rehearsal tonight uh, and really interesting to hear the new orchestrations for this show. If there's any chance that you can uh, get to see it uh, you're in southern Ontario or uh, anywhere around the Great Lakes region, you really should come and see the show. I think it's going to be something really special, uh, fantastic choreography and uh, and different different arrangements. It just really makes the show kind of sparkle a lot more than uh, than what I'm used to from uh, with, uh, with guys and dolls. Anyway, time to make the drive home.
Well, finally back home safe and sound from my day out. Left the house at four o'clock and it's uh, oh, just about uh, well, closing in on one. Maybe it's a bit after one now. So technically no longer St. Patrick's Day. Nevertheless, I'm still going to reward myself for my hard day's effort. And what could be a better reward on uh, St. Patrick's Day than a bottle of Jameson's? Well, not the whole bottle. But I think about this much should do the trick. So, thanks for watching the Woodwind Doubling Guide, episode number 36, the road trip out to Stratford and uh, first day of rehearsals there. I uh, hope you enjoyed seeing something a little different. And uh, please let me know in the comments if you have any questions about uh, what you saw or what's up next, or uh, uh, if you got any ideas for uh, things you'd like to see in the program. Uh, if you haven't hit subscribe already, uh, please do so you can... Uh, keep tuned into what uh, what's going on here. Anyways, happy belated St. Patrick's Day, and we'll see you next time.